Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Kayla, I gotta ask you. I know we tried to go to Kmart earlier today on this trip and we found out it was Boz Coves, mm -hmm. which I'm not complaining about because that was cool. But now we're at an actual Kmart. How would you feel about shopping in there today? Seriously, I would love to go shop at Kmart. Kmart is awesome. Yeah, I just, this one must be like an undercover one. You know, like how some people like they debadge their cars to make them like low profile and stuff because there's no signs on this whatsoever. But the lights are on, so they have to be open, right? Yeah, it's like maybe maybe they just took their sign down to clean them off for the day or something. Clean them off for the day. <laughs> the sign's bigger than the car. Hey, yeah, they need to replace the light bulbs and get with the times. Yeah, I mean, that makes total sense, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, why would they close? There's a pharmacy in there. People need to get their medicine. I don't know, ask Transform Co. because they have this building for lease on their website. Yeah, you see it right there. Alright, so I'm going to go in there. What do you want to do? Alright, let's go shopping. Alright, let's go shopping. Let's do it. Alright, here you go. Here's your Kmart just outside of Reading here in the Shillington neighborhood. This one closed in the fall of 2019. This was the last... Kmart in Berks County to go. We found out there were actually a few of them out this direction, but this was the very last one to fall victim to Eddie Lampard's reign of terror and Transform Co. literally transforming their business model from having department stores to just leasing out re real estate while they line their pockets instead of giving a damn about the stores that once dominated the country. Wow, that's an oldie, too, with that desk. And they had the newer signage on this one. You'll see pictures of this at the end of the video. They had the newer logo on the front of the building. And they uh, had the newer style sign at the end of the parking lot, which I'll also show you that here in just a moment. No, it's rather difficult to see in there, but at least you can see in there a little bit anyway. This is an oldie and a goodie. Using my hand to block out some of the glare, you can see down the sales floor down that side there a little bit where the cart corral is and where the register should have been. I would imagine they were on that side. Looks like they were. And yes, you can see the reflection of it. We have the bee friend. <laughs> Uh, imagine how funny it would be if one of these doors just opened up, but I'm sure the alarm would go off if it did. That looks like that was either... Yeah, that looks like that was electronics back there. Anyway. Glad we got to check out an abandoned Kmart on this trip out this weekend. Now we'll take a walk down this way here. You don't see too many abandoned Kmarts anymore. A lot of them are now getting demolished or repurposed. Some are still sitting vacant, but not a whole lot. Now, I've never had the chance to shop at this one. I don't know if you are from this area or if you're familiar with this one, if you ever got to, but we never got to. But anyway, I'm walking down towards the garden center side. I'll show you that real quick here. And then... Uh, yeah, the old sign up there that had the newer logo on it. Yeah, like I was saying, you can see that on there. How it said Kmart with the newer style. Go, there you go. Had the light pole blocking it. And I think it's funny too, you got what looks like an abandoned bank right there too. But we're here to check out the Kmart. I haven't done a Kmart video in a while. It's been a hot minute. Just out of curiosity, I doubt it, but nope. You can see people were breaking the windows. It's a shame. People gotta break things. 
Laura, can you see through? I don't know if we can or not. I doubt it. A little bit. This looks like this was their auto center. Yes, it had to have been. I don't know if you can read that at all on that door. Hmm. That had to be the auto center because here's the garden center here. Now, believe it or not, while we were out on this trip, we've tried going to a handful of abandoned Kmarts and a lot of them have just been repurposed. We even stopped at the one in Nefrata, PA, which was one of their best ones in the commonwealth of pa and it was all defaced and had no trespassing signs all over it and it looked like it was getting repurposed yeah their garden center topping now for whatever reason those doors there that go into the sales floor they got them all taped and papered up i don't really know why they may have had it like that when this was still open for business though they may have closed the garden center off long before then Sorry, I keep finding parts of the door that have stickers on them, or the residue. There were two registers there. Those doors are frosted, so you can't see through them at all. A lot of garbage back here. Let's keep walking. I haven't done an abandoned Kmart video, though, in a little while. Figured, why not? Go back to one of the roots of this channel with the uh, abandoned department stores, especially Kmart. Anybody want little cheesers? <laughs> they're like cheesy pretzels and they look gross. That's probably why they're laying there. I'll take a walk back here anyway. Yeah, as I like to do with a lot of these abandoned Kmart videos, if it's possible, I like to try and find photos from inside of the store when it was open. Especially if it's a store I was never able to go to when it was open. Because oftentimes if it was one I was able to go to, if I had my own pictures, I'd put them up there. So what I tend to do is uh, find them online and then credit the people at the bottom of each picture. Check that out. Kmart. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, I try to do that. So you get a better idea of how it actually looked inside instead of me just going around the outside of this old vacant property. Somebody lost a window here. That's a lot of glass. Somebody had a bad day. They dropped the window and was like, oh, crap. <laughs> so here we are by the loading dock. The trailers would come down the hill here, right to the loading dock here. And there was the garage door. And that's a grocery store they have down there. And there's another door that says Kmart on it. And we won't go down there. We'll turn around now. But when we get back up front, I'll show you what I think had to have been Kmart Foods. And you'll see why when we get back out front. Check this out, guys. As I was walking back towards the front of the store, look at all these little rocks you see here. I just thought that was just decoration or whatever. And it is, actually. I thought that they were just, just there. But when you look closer at them, they all have little eyeballs on them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who did this or why, but look at them. They all have little googly eyes on them, every, almost every single one of them. Some are drawn on there. This is funny. Was this something the employees did? Oh, this one's sad. That one's sad, too. It's like they're, that one got a bandage on it. Oh, look at the sad ones. That one's mad. Was this something the employees did here? Or what? This is cute. Then I got a big rock here. This is so cool. I'd never seen anything like this before. And I definitely feel like it was worth putting in the video. Because if this is something that the employees did here, or if they had a volunteer event, that's pretty cool. Now, if you're familiar with these and you know why these are here or who did this, please let me know in the comments because this is something 
really unique and pretty cool. I like it. Look at them all. They have so many. Then here's the last one here. So yeah, you have them literally start from almost one end of the garden center all the way to the end there. That's sweet. That was pretty cool. I wonder who did that. That's fun. That's a, that's a fun thing to do. I wonder how many people did that. Like I said, if you know, feel free to let me know in the comments. But anyway, we're continuing back up to the front of the store, and I'll show you what I thought might have been Kmart Foods, which now is just a, a supermarket. So, at least it uses that purpose still. But anyway, I'll see you up front. All right, back up front gigantic parking lot for this once awesome department store which is sadly no more we got the bee friend right out front thank you so much nate and marion kayla and i just absolutely love that car we love that car to death she's a champion just like the z24 I feel like I have to mention this in every video because either people haven't seen the video or they don't pay attention, but we were gifted the B friend by Nate and Marion. That is our car now, and we still have the Z24. We're keeping both cars. They're both stick shifts, so if Kayla can learn how to drive a manual, she could drive the B friend or the Z24 whenever she likes. And it's nice to give the Z24 a much needed break from daily driving and all the rides that we take her on. I mean, we've racked a lot of miles on her, but she's never let us down. And so far, the B friend hasn't either. But anyway, here we are back out front, and I'll show you what I mean about that, which I think was Kmart Foods. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but as you can see, with this being an older style Kmart and that same garden shop down there, and this being a large building, with the facade there, like you see how the shape of the top there where the grocery outlet sign is and over here where it used to say Kmart, how they're shaped very, very similar. That's what makes me wonder if that was Kmart Foods. And pay attention to the bricks too. The bricks on the wall here, right where it says pharmacy, how they have the ridges in them, they continue past that behind the Dollar Tree signage now they all they updated all of that obviously they have a new like awning basically or new facade that goes all the way to the end but where the pillars are which were the same as these probably featured those little arcs you know you see how the little arches rather if i could talk right that's probably what was behind there but now grocery outlet is there and i bet you if i walked in there it probably still looks like kmart unless they updated it that much but that's cool. Let me know if, if I was right on that or if I'm inaccurate. But either way, this was a cool find. I'm glad to have seen it now. Put it on video for you guys and all those happy little rocks. And for the rocks that weren't having a very good day, I hope their days get better. So, anyway, time to get back in the car. I guess we ain't shopping at this Kmart. Damn it. Look, even they're disappointed. They're like, oh, man, they're not open. And they're driving away. All right, everyone. Well, that's going to wrap it up for our look at this Kmart here in Shillington, outside of Reading. Uh, the last one in Berks County to close in the fall of 2019. Dang. Yeah. So, what a shame. I but, miss Kmart, man. Me too. And as we're filming this in late October of 2021, there, I th there are a bunch that are closing in November as well as Sears, and I think if I'm not mistaken, there will be less than 10 Kmarts left in the continental United States. I think like nine or so, and then there's a couple in outside territories like in Guam, and I think there's still one or two in the Virgin Islands, but that's about it. Why they even still exist at this point, I don't know, because Kayla and I can both agree on this. The last few times we've been to any Kmart that was open, other than it saying Kmart on the building and on the register lights and signs, it was not Kmart inside. Yeah, they they had like a ton of like closeouts and like all these like obscure Amazon brands and stuff. It was basically junk. I mean, it really actually felt like we stepped foot into what, like an Ollie's yeah, or like, it was a like Burlington. An Ollie's or something. Yeah. So I mean, other than it saying Kmart on the building and it's still being owned and managed by 
by that Dumbo Eddie. Uh, it really is just a shell of what it actually was, which is a shame. Kmart used to be so awesome. We used to love going there. And when you and I first got together, the fact that we were able to go to so many before the, the nosedive happened. I know. So, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at this Kmart. And uh, like I said, if I can find any photos of this from when it was open, you'll see those here following our outro. And, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Kmart. Let's just stay. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.